Okay guys, um, I will show you like using my Steam, uh, my Steam Deck LCD version. Uh, sorry for the English, it's not my first first language. Um, but um, I will show you all the all the settings you need to do for getting the best performance in this in this game. Uh, the F FSR uh, implementation is actually very bad in this game. But uh, if we install uh, one mod. Uh, we could get the, a bit of performance. So, okay, first um, I'm gonna show you the settings on this game. So basically, everything is in low. Um, everything is in low, and also the FSR uh, two is in uh, enable and balance mode. So what we're gonna do is gonna basically use a mod for um, transpiling um, uh, FSR two to to FSR three dot one. So, well, first we need to close the game and go to desktop mode. Um, so we can do that first. Now we'll be stopping the video, like you're gonna see cuts, um, depending on how fast it is to move in uh, to one uh, scene to another, okay? So first uh, we're gonna get the, the mod. Uh, let me step a little bit. Okay, we're gonna use the browser and we're gonna download this um, this mod. I'm gonna leave the links and everything, every every um, parameter they're gonna put in the in the video in the bottom of the video. Um, you can see in the in the in the detail of the video. So, uh, okay, we're gonna go to the to the download uh, folder. Um, basically, what you're gonna do is uh, extract this um, into here and then you're gonna have this uh, folder and we need all of these uh, files copy into the into the game so you need to find the the game pad in this case I am gonna move to to the game uh, file address so you can see um, if you have the, the game installed, depending where you have installed it, you need to go inside the client PC, then root, then binary, the um, PC again. Um, and here in this, uh, in this part of your um, game is where we're gonna put the mod, okay? So basically all the, um, all what we have in the, in the download, um, we can show you here. So we have them all here. We copy everything and we paste it here. So we have it now paste everything. Um, they have all the configuration already set it up for this game. So next step, what we need to do is go to the, to the game properties. So, in this case, I have the game over here. And we need to add the launch option for running this um, this mod. So basically we need to add this into the launch option in the game. I'm gonna leave this um, options into the, the video description too. So you can just copy and paste too. And then we can go back to game mode because it's easier to show the the parameters and uh, F, FPS. So let's go to game uh, game mode, and we can run it. Now in game mode, um, you can run your your game. Uh, we need to wait until it's loaded. We should be loading already the mod if you put correctly the launch options. Okay. Um, once you load the game, uh, normally it takes longer than usual because it's loading the mod. Uh, but when it is loaded, um, you can see in your settings now, you have the option to enable DLSS. Uh, so basically what you need to do is just enable it and in it, uh, put it the same thing in balance. And that will be enough. That will be everything. Um, or you can leave it in, F in FSR2, doesn't matter. I mean, um, in my case, I like to just enable the LSS. Um, 
I think looks much better. Uh, so, if you can see right now, like uh, the FPS are pr practically uh, double. So we can go now to the um, to the game and test it. So let's go. Okay, now into the game, we can see like the performance is around uh, almost double. But we have an issue here with uh, this game. This game is is basically CPU bounded, and the problem with this game is like is no is no use in the entire like, GPU. So what we're gonna do is forcing this um, this game to set up this GPU into the max uh, performance. So also, I mean, you can use um, you can set the uh, performance uh, settings and then. Enable uh, a low terrain for helping this uh, to not have any issues. Uh, but especially manual GPU clock need to be set it up to 1600 uh, MHz. So that, as you saw in the top here, left, it is locking uh, lock your GPU into these uh, frequencies. So that will be helping your um, performance. So the other thing is like the the GPU is basically um, bounded in this. Uh, sorry, the CPU is bounded in this game. So you need a lot of CPU uh, power for making having a better performance in this game. So what we can do is basically uh, making overclocking or underclocking into your device. Um, but that will be another tutorial. Um, if you can make underbolt. Um, also overclocking like I did in my Steam Deck OLED, you can get a much, much better uh, performance. But that's it. That's basically all, all, the, all the settings you need to do for getting better performance. Uh, if you can see, there is not a problem with the frame generation with this mod. So you can have a good frame generation performance and enjoy the game. That's it. Enjoy the game. If you get more per if you wanna get more performance, uh, the only way to get it a little bit more, uh, it will be like with uh, undervolting your Steam Deck and also overclocking your Steam Deck. Um, but all depend about the temperatures of your um, device. Uh, if you can see, like right now, with the LCD uh, version of the Steam Deck, uh, it's getting hotter. Um, so it's, I would not recommend to make an overclocking if you're uh, not solving the temperature issues first. Um, but in general, uh, you can get a good performance with this. You can even um, help in a little bit more um, using um, performance um, on your render resolution. Um, and also maybe um, you can increment your uh, texture filters uh, to medium to look much better. But in general, you can get a good performance uh, with this mod. Especially with the frame generation, that's a uh, game changing uh, for this for this game. Okay, well, enjoy the enjoy the game. We should be loading already the mod if you put correctly the launch options. Okay, um, once you load the game, uh, normally it take longer than usual because it's loading the mod. Uh, but when it is loaded, uh, you can see in your settings now, we have the option to enable DLSS. Uh, so basically what you need to do is just enable it and then uh, put it the same thing in balance. And that will be enough. That will be everything. Um, 